Hey guys, it's SA. Thanks for clicking on my face. So today I decided to come to you guys with a little something different, kind of cool. I decided to do a current beauty favorites, um, but kind of in a get ready with me style so that you would see how I use all the products and uh, maybe get inspired to do a look something sort of like this in the near or distant future. I don't know, you can do it if you want to do. Um, if you're interested in seeing what products I'm like totally in love with, uh, keep watching this video and then you know you'll see also how I got this look together um, it's not real special but he's I, I guess um, and yeah that's it okay so my first favorite um, is the honest company or honest beauty younger face deep hydration um, <sighs> thing moisturizer and I actually couple that with this argan oil body mist um and that's what I put on my face for my moisturizer I already did that off camera so I'm not really going to do that now um then uh, my I guess my third favorite um so this is actually something that I'm trying out I was trying I was using any in um any old uh primer for my skin um, but then because I went to get more of my concealer, my LA Girl concealer, um, I picked up the LA Girl uh, Pro Prep Primer and this one is for the smoothing um, of the pores and stuff like that. So I just put that all over my face. Um, it doesn't, it's not like anything that's looking to like um, take care of shine or dryness. Um, but I like that, you know, my pores definitely look whew, disappear, disappear, disappear. Um, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so moving on to my next favorite. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color chestnut. Um, I was using my Mary Kay CC cream forever. You all know this. My mirror's right here, but I'm still talking to you. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll never use anything else. I had, I thought that I had found the truth and the glory. Um, but, you know, when I was in Ulta over Christmas break, I had actually, um, <laughs> it looks so crazy, just randomly gone over to the, um, what is it called? The Anastasia Beverly Hills counter, and I saw that they had these foundation sticks, and I was like, "What? I'm gonna try these out." And they didn't have my color. I went on to Ulta.com, didn't have my color. Black girl problems. Then I went on to Sephora.com, they didn't have my color. Then I went on to Anastasia's actually website, she didn't have my color. I was just like, I am out of luck in this truck. But I finally got it on Macy's and had it delivered to my house and. That was amazing. And I'm just using this uh, regular e.l.f. powder brush that I've had for years to just blend in my foundation. It's not as easy to blend in as the CC cream is, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, and I know that when I first put it on my skin, it looks like it is not my color, but it's, it's totally my color. And I'm in love with it. I had literally, since I got it, um, have not been wearing anything else. I still love my CC cream on days when I'm like really, really, sorry, really pressed for time, but this just blends so perfectly, so perfectly. Um, as always, I'm just going to brush my eyebrows up. This is a BH Cosmetics eyebrow tool. Um, I don't really know what these are called. Eyebrow comb, eyebrow brush, what are they called? I know y'all are so educated out there, somebody please tell me what these are called. Um, and then, oh, I need some brushes back in back here. Uh, let's see, I need my concealer brush. Right here. And I'm going in, this is not, you know, part of the favorites for this video, with my regular LA Girl uh, Pro Concealer in the color Warm Sand. It is actually not, you know, the shade that you would expect someone of my complexion to be wearing. And I'm all for people wearing, you know, Concealers that match them, but this color actually just makes me really happy. And just for under the um, under the eyebrows like this, um, I'm gonna have a oh, what's it called? An eyebrow um, an updated eyebrow eyebrow routine coming out soon. 
I know that I get questions on my eyebrows a lot because, like, what are you doing? That color is clearly not your shade. I know. Like, beauty guru who? Nah. Anyway, I'm just gonna blend in this, um, What's it called? Eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna move on to my actual favorite, favorite, favorite um, currently, which is this. Um, let me get the brush that I'm gonna use. This um, beauty palette that I got from Macy's over the break, um, my Christmas break, and it has eyeshadows. This whole panel of eyeshadows, and over on the other side, I have um, color corrector, which I don't really need. Um, then I have highlighters and bronzers and blushes, which I don't really use. Then some stuff for eyebrows, eyeliner, and then lip glosses. Um, what I'm going to go into first is a brown color um, that just is not going to be too, I have found it, not going to be too shimmery and also work as a transition color for me because of my skin color. A lot of times I see like these, um, like uh, what's it called, like get ready with me or like um, tutorials and they just say, oh this brown color, you know, or name the color, but really I just think like the instruction that you give, you know, on how to choose a color that will look best on your skin tone is better than saying, well I'm actually using this specific color from this specific brand. like. Not every color is going to look the same on every skin tone. And for the blending in, I'm just using a Kylie Cosmetics, um, what's it called? Uh, eyeshadow brush. I'm actually trying these out because I am reviewing them for my blog, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just sitting here. I'm just putting that in the crease. Um, it's going to be a a quaint little eyeshadow, um, and what's it called? Transition color. Um, but yeah, like, I'm trying these brushes out. I'm not necessarily calling them my favorite because I don't know yet. Um, I'm gonna go for an aqua color. I'm gonna go for a deeper aqua color than someone who might be lighter than me would try. Um, because holy smokes, these things are really pigmented. I haven't tried this color yet. I haven't tried any of the like um, blues and purples. Yeah, blues and purples. I guess this might be a green. Blues, purples, and greens. <laughs> I mean, on a regular basis, I really only wear um, rounds anyway, because you know, school and stuff. So, as I'm putting this on, I just want to talk to you a little bit. Over on the holiday season, I was looking through my um, my videos on YouTube in November, and I realized slash remembered how I used to do like all of the really crazy skit type videos. I mean, I love those videos. It's probably one of the main reasons that I came onto YouTube in the first place. Okay, and I'm just blending that out with the same color that I used before. Um, and I was like, I would love to uh, get back to that. And I'm considering um, how I'm posting on my channel and how I'm going to be filming. I'm going to try, uh, like I said, I'm posting every um, every um, Friday now that I'm back to it, doing my zhuzh. But I probably can post another day in the week because I'm thinking maybe I can, you know, do a beauty video once a week, just sit and film and then, you know, come out with another, you know, whatever, you know, lifestyle or just sit there and talk to you kind of video, med school kind of video, weird humor kind of video um, after I film the the beauty video. So there will definitely be at least one video a week, probably two. Um, just takes a matter of me sitting down for an hour and I have, you know, use an, an hour study break because I can't kill myself. I refuse to kill myself. Even though the boards are going to be real and close when I get to boards, the uh, more likely I will be to be taking a break from YouTube. But as we are in January, that's probably what's going to be happening. 
Um, yeah, just felt like saying that because I definitely think had looked through my um my old videos. Pretty much speed up now. Chit chat with y'all. I looked at my old videos and I realized like, oh my gosh, it used to be like a different kind of like you know environment on this space. I think that's all I'm gonna do actually. I'm gonna just bring the color down a little bit more down to my lashes. But that's actually pretty pretty. Yeah. And then I'm gonna just fill my eyebrows as usual. Again, like I said, I have on my schedule to film an eyebrow tutorial. Um, I get comments on my eyebrows on Snapchat a lot. I'm like, thank you. Really, there's not there's not much to it, but you know, I appreciate that. I have used this already in the tutorial. This is a new one. This is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara, which, y'all, y'all, I'm probably going to zoom through this because I know looking at people do their mascara is gross on, um, on camera, but this mascara is truth. like um, contouring and um, highlighting I honestly feel like I my highlights and contours naturally are still there that's well I think one of the reasons that I love this Anastasia um, foundation because it's like light to medium coverage and I know that you know I this is Maybe, maybe, many people don't really like this about foundations that are like have that type of coverage but like for someone who doesn't really have um, problematic skin you know it's it's actually the best so I think I'm gonna go in with um just a little bit of this gold highlighter from the same um Macy's palette that I got I'm just gonna put a little bit of it on my chin I did that in the camera and I have no idea how it turned out but I think it looks okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend it out um different colors look different now different people instead of the ready um I'm just going with this green and gold. Um, it's not really a tutorial, I know, but I think the green and gold looks uh, great. Um, whatever comes up green on your skin, whatever comes up gold on your skin, you know, try it out. It, it, it looks great. I'm sure it will look great on you. You guys are all beautiful anyway, so. Maybe. And um, people were asking about my highlight locations. I don't highlight my jaw, neither do I contour. Sometimes I contour right here, sometimes I contour the side of my nose, but that's it. Oh, I'm gonna hear sometimes too, but my lips honestly big enough. Um, I just go underneath here, underneath my chin, right? And then here, all the way up around, down my nose, all the way up around. I don't know, hopefully that helps get this together. I think that looks good. Let me bring the mirror just to make sure I'm not looking crazy, y'all. Uh, the last thing, well the second to last thing because I'm still going to put on uh, some mascara again, um, that I'm going to put on is actually this lipstick that I got um, for Christmas. Um, it is the Mariah Carey um, lipstick combination with MAC. Well, um, it is the I Get So OOC. I don't know. I mean, I love Mimi, but I, I have no idea what that is saying. So I'm just going to have it on. It is a frosted finish and it goes on really, really smooth. And I don't wear a lip liner type of it. Um, it's like, I just swatch it for y'all. I'm probably, no, I'm going to swatch it in the cutaway, I know. But it's like a really nice brown um, lip like glitter. It's because it's Mimi. Um, but yeah. Last thing I'm going to do is just um, I want some more mascara. Oh god, I love this mascara. And it's so cheap. 
I remember I was like swearing by the, um, what's it called? The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Y'all, this is better. This is better. Like, I look like I'm wearing falsies. And it's so much cheaper than the Too Faced one, so. Save your coin. Save your coin. Okay. Um, let me put this away also so I talk to y'all freely. I'm about to cut away real quick, put on my earrings, put on my dress, because I'm just in a tech shop right now, and come back to y'all real quick and talk to you about, I don't know, all things I gotta talk to you about. It'll be like nothing to y'all, so whatever. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I put my little earrings in. I comb my hair so I can look, look at so I can look decent for y'all. Um, I fixed my um, highlighter. That's all that I did differently um, since I turned off the camera. Um, two things that I wanted to mention that couldn't necessarily be experienced via the get ready with get ready with me are the perfume that I'm going to be wearing for the day. This is the Marc Jacobs Dot. I had the sampler size that I got from Sephora and I just love the scent of it. I would be spraying it trying to make the sampler. You know the itty bitty, itty bitty sampler sizes? I was trying to make it last and I said, why don't I just go back and get the full size? And it is so cutesy, floral, but still like grown woman, you know, grown woman, floral. it is floral. Um, it reminds me of the summer, not even springtime, not even winter, you know, because we are in the middle of winter right now, but it reminds me of summer and it just makes me joyous. That's why I think I like to spray it even before I go to class. <laughs> and the other thing that I wanted to mention was that back there, the Shea Moisture, um, it's just that line in general. I'm about to deep condition my hair tonight, or not about to, but tonight after I come back. Um, it's amazing and it's for frizzy hair which I have, so it is greatly appreciated by me and my frizzy hair. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. If you enjoyed watching me today, and if you learned something or just laughed a little bit, go down below, comment, share, and subscribe. It's absolutely free to subscribe. To subscribe. Remember, I will be here every Friday, and when I decide on another day, Tuesday decided, Friday and every Friday and almost every Tuesday, I'm gonna try for that. Um, but follow me on Snapchat and Twitter because that's where I'll be telling you if I have uploaded, but definitely every Friday doing fabulous things like I have done today. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate you and I guess I'm gonna see you next time. Okay, bye.